What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the advantages of the parallel circuit over series circuit. On breadboard, I have created two circuits. The right one is a parallel circuit, consists of two LEDs and two resistors, which they are connected in parallel to each other. On the left side, there is a series circuit, consists of two LEDs and two resistors, which they are connected in series to each other. Now I'm gonna connect my nine volt power supply to the circuit and the LEDs will be turned on. The first advantage of the parallel circuit over series circuit is the independent operation. In parallel circuits, each component has its own separate branch, allowing them to operate independently. For example, if I remove the green LED right over here, the circuit is not disrupted and the blue LED is still on. So if I remove a component from a parallel circuit, other components continue to function unaffected. However, in the series circuit, if I remove a component, for example, the yellow LED, the blue LED will be off and the circuit is disrupted. The second advantage is that in a parallel circuit, voltage remains constant. I have my multimeter right over here. I'm gonna adjust it to DC voltage. To measure the voltage drop across the components in parallel circuit and in series circuit. Let's start by measuring the voltage across the blue LED. It's 2.6 volts and across the resistor it's 6.4 volts. If we add them up we get a 9 volt voltage drop across the blue LED and the resistor. Let's measure the green LED voltage which is 2 volts and the resistor 7 volts. If we add them up, we get a 9 volt voltage drop. So to sum up, the voltage drop of each branch from the blue LED to the resistor and the green LED to the resistor, each one of them is 9 volts, which is the voltage coming from our power supply. So the voltage remains constant in each branch in a parallel circuit. On the other hand, I'm gonna measure the voltage across the components in a series circuit. Let's start by this resistor, which is 2.2 volts. The LED is 1.9 volts. Other resistor is 2.2 volts. And the blue LED is 2.6 volts. So as you can see, the voltages does not match to each other. They are different. They have, the components have different voltage drop values. And it means that in a series circuit, voltage does not remain constant. The last advantage of the parallel circuit is the increased current capacity. In a parallel circuit, the total current is divided among the individual branches and as a result, the overall current capacity of the circuit increases. This is advantageous when powering multiple devices simultaneously or when high current demands are present. Now I'm gonna go through my circuit again and I'm gonna measure the current across the parallel circuit and the series circuit. I'm gonna adjust my multimeter to the ampere to measure the current in the range of 200 milliampere. Then I'm gonna measure the current through the LED and the resistor. Now for multimeter to measure the current, I have to connect the device itself in series to the components. It means that I have to remove the one end of the resistor like this. Then I'm gonna grab my probe. Then I'm gonna grab my resistor with the probe, and then the other probe, probe goes to the LED. It shows me 0.6 milliampere current in this branch. Then I'm gonna connect the resistor again to the circuit. Now I'm gonna go through the other branch, I'm gonna remove the resistor, connect my prop to the one end of the resistor, and the other and the other prop goes to the LED, which gives me 6.9 milliampere. As you can see, the current is divided in a parallel circuit, and current current does not remain constant in these circuits. I'm gonna do the same to measure the current in a series circuit. I'm gonna remove one of the ends of the resistor, like this. 
I'm gonna grab the end with my pop and the other pop goes will be connected to the LED which gives me a current of 2.2 mA now let's check if current remains constant in the series circuit I'm gonna remove this end of the resistor grab the end with my prop and the other prop goes to the LED which gives me a current of 2.2 mA so as you can see current stays same in a series circuit however in the parallel circuit current current is going to be divided among the branches and the components thanks for watching the video please let me know if you have any inquiries about the circuit like and subscribe my channel if you enjoyed the video i have uploaded a bunch of other uh, breadboard projects which you can find it in the description and in comment section thanks and have a good day